‫שחורים לי, ‫ליגה של הלוואי סתם כניס. ‫מה יד? ‫הגרוע כן. ‫הנה נראה. ‫אני חושב שהוא הסכם את הרנסט של קלאס. ‫כמה פעמים? ‫כמה פעמים?
Everybody to know a little bit. I think you guys already know what's three jewels, right? Everybody knows. Usually it's three jewels. Buddha, Dharma, Sangha. Everybody not easy to say. And then people ask us, what's Buddha? What's Dharma? What's Sangha? When all this we went to the North India, he asked that to many audience. How many people know the the refuge prayer? Everybody said that they had. The second question, how many people know the meaning? Then no one raised their hand. <laughs> you know. You know, for in Lugas, we know what Lugas then, how then the, whatever we study, whatever meditation, we have to know a little bit. Then identify it. What's Buddha, Dharma, Sangha, which is how we talk in the meaning. In the many terms, you guys already know. Then, uh, purpose, purpose practice, or purpose study, Dharma, is what? Right? We have to purpose, right? Usually, in kids go to school, what's purpose? They have to knowledge, right? They go to college, high school, they all go to PhDs, what's purpose? You know, their parents or kids spend a lot of money. They want purpose. Purpose is they get good education, then they get good job. The goal is they get good job, right? Easy job, make more money. No, too hard, too hard job, less money. <laughs> Therefore, whatever we study is they have some purpose, right? Purpose is, I think, I don't know, all you guys purpose. Everybody fish to happiness, unwanted any sort of regret. Therefore, we you know people. Some we study Buddhism. They have something meaning, you know, control. You know, when we have difficult situation, that time, that kind of, no, we choose why not? That kind of thing, that kind of pain, that kind of some issue. So, there are you lost. That is much to me, dear one. <clears throat> so uh, people think that when, you, uh, when you're facing difficulties, when you're in problem, if you practice Buddhism, that will help them, you know, to overcome the problems. Anyway, when we main purpose is cheap our anyway for us cheap our happiness or full happiness. Right? Therefore, full happiness, in which we wish, we want full happiness at that point, does not come just what we pray or what we wish, they not, we cannot get that. Then we have to do some study, the meditation, our, teach our mind more. Then, you know, we say, Buddha said, subdue your mind. Then we need to identify what kind of mind we need to subdue. When you subdue it, abound that mind, then we, you know, achieve or get happiness. Right? Then what kind of mind? Then we, what kind of mind <coughs> we need to solve things? Ignorance. Man wants ignorant. Without knowing, we do many actions. They bring a lot of suffering, they have problems. Ignorant. Then ignorance behind the from judgment, angry, jealous, hatred. This guy, this that kind of mind make for us more suffering. You know, everybody have, you know what we call it, um, experience, right? When we very angry, we are not happy. Our relatives, our who's never not happy, right? Then when we are very jealous, our minds not happy. We you know, what can I do, you know? I want to always say, I want to put down that person, you know, the jealous, you know. Then we hate it, you know. But any that kind of mind, then we are jealous. Manifest. Manifest. Then we are not happy. They do they bring for us sufferings. But we are not free.
because he lot used to custom their command life lives lives. Also many lives we don't know that commands also bad. For example, without you guys study any religions, do you have understand you know hate, touch man, angry, their kind minds bring for us sorry or their kind minds very bad? No, most people doesn't have this is not nature of mind. They think nature of mind, you know, angry, jealous, uh, hatred, touching. It's not, you know, part of my mind. It's not very, you know, people think this. Even, even, you know, before I study Buddhism, I was, I was born Buddhism, you know, as a Buddhism, but since our country, you know, India studied that, then, then we know what's that. Before, you know, touch me angry, we thought this was just nature my mind. You know, we don't think that is bad. No, the nature of mind. Then we study more and more and more, then say, okay, <coughs> it comes back. Then we just, investigation is true or not. Then, you know, it's true, right? No Buddha just uh, order us. Touch my bad, you have to listen. If you, if you accept or not, you have to listen what I say. Touch my bad, touch me. Touch me. Touch me, jealous is bad. If you accept or not, you have to accept is bad. Not that kind, right? You know, he said, what I said is my experience. If you can, uh, investigation is not or true or not. And you can check it out when you manifest judgment or our feeling. You know, when we manifest angry, jealous, this commands. When manifest that time we are not comfortable, right? Then uh, then now we need to Buddha said this command we need to subdue about that command. <coughs> Then what we come on, we need to develop compassion, bodhicitta, bodhicitta, right? Bodhicitta, loving kindness. This come, this, that come on for us manifest. We all peaceful, we all happy. For example, mom, you know, mothers and father has very strong loving kindness of their child. Therefore, sometimes of course, their parents get angry their kids, but their kids are small, maybe they are two, three, four, five years old, then parents, maybe 98% they never get angry for them. You know, they're very strong, loving, kind of, you know, they that could not. But Xiang Zhong Xiu Yu was a problem. So the, the parents have so much love and care about uh, the about the children. Then they sham then they sham about the ninja same the shooting boy ones uh tell them the control the travel to the children. So because they have this uh, compassionate and loving mind so strong in their mind that uh, other you know the contrary mind like the anger or <coughs> or hatred or jealousy you know doesn't come up. Oh then they buy the Pamati, the poor, the shamjong, the poor, 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 the the poor, the poor, the poor, the poor, the poor, the the poor, the the poor, the the and Kali taught you, the poor Saraja third, that was your Kali Shara, then a Pamasu, Kali Kasi, and then that one she told you. And it is very difficult you know, to raise a child, uh, but no matter how difficult it is, the parents you know, uh, <coughs> accept or you know, endure all these problems or the difficulties and happily. Then a Kali to Pachi Major Ten Maris. So most of the parents don't think that it is so difficult, you know, it is yeah. troublesome. Don't think yeah. like that. You know, so, okay, of course, some parents maybe don't like it, you know, some parents also that, but most, you know, they, you know, of course, maybe adults, a little bit, getting up, then parents get a little bit, some trouble, <laughs> you know, they turn, the, 
And then as the child grows bigger and bigger, then that that compassion or love, you know, that they have uh, the affectionate love that they had before uh, also kind of decreases. And so when the, the loving kind, the loving mind or the compassionate mind is manifesting in the you know, in the mind stream of the parents, um, the other contrary mind like you know, the anger and jealousy uh, hatred you know, doesn't come up towards the child. So the reason why they don't have uh, that kind of uh, hateful or you know, angry mind towards the child is because uh, um, they, they have so much strong compassion and love you know, towards the child. And so if we can't have that kind of same you know, kind of same level of compassion and love towards all sentient beings, then there will be no basis you know, for the angles to rise. And so that is the reason why we first develop this uh, attitude or recognition, you know, thinking that all sentient beings are you know, same as one's mother of this lifetime. Uh, and so, because you know, because uh, the mother of this life, you know, of course, there may be one or two bad ones, but you know, mostly, all the mothers, you know, uh, are very kind and loving, you know, to their children, right? Uh, uh, and anyway, so in any case, you know, all the mothers you know, who give birth, you know, birth to us, birth to the children. Uh, uh, carried the children, right, the child, in her womb, you know, for uh, nine months and ten days. But he had no mother in the man of you guys, mother. He should not, you know, if no mother, you guys are not. Our guys are not experienced, you know, how to look at the even the moms, you know, pregnant. But during that time, when she is pregnant, enter that from that to enter child born to Pumati father. She can she cannot do all the things before she's the poor medical. She used to do. She used to do. She can maybe fifty percent she can do to but she cannot do any any uh activity at all. No you so can Yeah. yeah most of the things true. that she was able to do before she would not be able to do you know, when she gets pregnant. Because they have really they have very during that time they really they have manufactured a lot of passion or I so all the things that they really were fond of doing before, you know, they will not be allowed or not will not do it because of the child and because of thinking about the child. And also the food that they used to enjoy a lot, you know, thinking that it will harm the child inside their womb, and then they even abandon those food that they used to love so much. So what is the most uh, you know, pleasant thing is in our life? Eating and sleeping, right? Are you guys right? Eating, sleeping, watching TV, dancing, I don't know. And for me, eating and sleeping is my best thing. I don't know you guys. Today is that? Kaji. So, you know, <clears throat> so she will have to stop eating many things and also she will not have to, you know, she will not be able to get uh, enough sleep or comfortable sleep in the night. Okay. 
So anyway, that, there are so many different, many kind of uh, um, difficulties that we can even express you know, through our work. And that kind of a, a difficulty she goes through and eventually you know, bring us you know, into this world. And so most of that, there isn't any mother who doesn't have love towards the child who gives birth to a child, right? If they don't love the child, then they will maybe abort uh, the child, you know, when it's you know, in the in her womb, right? So mother is very, very kind to us, right? You know, uh, even before we were born, you know, when we were in her womb, you know, she um, cares so much about us. And then even after we were born, you know, when we were infant, you know, through the child, you know, the childhood, uh, and then, the, you know, <clears throat> the boy, and then the, the, the adult, and so forth, so all this time. And uh, not only mother, but also father. You know, after the child is born, then father also take care of the child a lot, right? But I was saying, yeah, we don't say that father till father is met. <laughs> Usually the father has two, two comes. I think dog, dog doesn't care the father's only mother. When they lose baby, dog doesn't care. Then not about the other animals. Usually the horses, other cows, they can also tell. You know, they don't do much of that, but in the Kodoyachi population, the changes. So they, they will have care, you know, loving and care uh, towards the child. And you know, the, you know, those scores, our judges who come the power, our potential was. And so the birds, you know, different kind of birds, you know, they take care of the father, we also help the mother to look after the little ones, right? Yeah, I think the dog doesn't do much when they make babies then. That's goodbye. Well, that can Sometimes it's, uh, you know, the parents, parents are really kind for us, we have to think about parents and then some kids say, uh, this is not, this is not, you know, they, they, the cross is not so less, the cross is like this, you know, like it was. So some, uh, some children or some, you know, people say that they made us, you know, so it's their responsibility to look after us. So you may have to look at each other, you know, <laughs> so uh, anyway, it is, um, you know, anyway, so the parents are very, very kind to us. And uh, in Buddhism, we, you know, the beginning, you know, to our life. Uh, there, there was a life before this, and there was a life before that life, and then before that, there was the another life, and so forth. So when you go back like that, there's no beginning of the life, you know, when it was started. So because there is no beginning you know, to our life, so every life we have some kind of mother, right? If we are born from womb, definitely we have mother, and even and other kinds of uh, birth, like the egg, definitely, but uh, you know other other kinds like. Uh, if we are born like miraculously or from the moisture and heat and so forth, then that's not, not necessary. But usually, you know, if you are born from home, then definitely your mother, right? So because there is no beginning, you know, to life, then there is no beginning, you know, to the mother, you know, uh, <coughs> that get, uh, who gave birth birth to us. And so when you think about that, then you can't say you can't point and say this has been my mother, this has not been my mother. You can't say that. And so therefore, everybody has been our mother, you know. In, in one of our people's lives. So can you, you know, can you say that I haven't been your mother for 100% sure? Can you, can you be 100% sure that I haven't been your mother? Can't, right? So we can't say yes, you have been, or we can't say yes, you haven't been, right? Can you? That, Change your mind, you are in a caricana. Change your mind, 
our mind. Our, our so other than our mind and body, how can we be identified as? What can we be identified well, as? You can't prove it by me. I mean, uh -huh. But, um, uh, uh, you know, personally, I, I, I think it's um, illustrated and um, sort of innate, innate knowledge, you know, how long. Um, you know, animals know to suckle when they're born. Um, you know, we're all born with a certain uh, amount of knowledge, yeah. you know, pre mm -hmm. that if, this, if uh, our minds began at this present birth, mm -hmm. uh, it would be impossible or highly unlikely and probable that we would have mm -hmm. this innate knowledge. Mm -hmm. So that, mm -hmm. um, and, um, and we do not, we get our bodies from our parents, yeah. but we don't get our minds from our parents. Mm -hmm. um, we're different. We may have physical characteristics mm -hmm. uh, inherited from our parents, but our minds are... are, are so where did our mind kind of come from? Well, that's, that's why I'm... I'm sitting here. <laughs> 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 good, 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 yeah, good, good, good. ま、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ、ヘンジ
And so today's mind came from yesterday's mind. And so when we say I, so where did I, this I, and then yesterday's I, today's I, today's me, and yesterday's me, is there any difference? That's different, right? Today's me is older than yesterday's me. So yesterday was one day younger, today is one day older. So, you know, so today's I is different from yesterday's I. Right? Is it true? Yes. So does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. right? And so there, there is uh, this change taking place in our life all the time, right? And so, you know, the, we, when we, you know, go into more detail than in you know, a more subtle, and you can go like even like the seconds, you know, make difference to us, right? If, if you cannot make, if you don't see that difference in the seconds, then you won't be able to see in the minute, you know. So it doesn't like become different just like that, you know? it becomes gradually, it gradually becomes different. So, so every minute, every second comes, right? So every second it becomes different. So of course the day, in a day, of course, they have a big difference, right? And in a year, there is a big difference, in a whole life, there is a big, big difference, right? And so there is this whole, you know, <clears throat> change happen momentarily. Uh, and so if you you know you don't see that change, the subtle, the small change, you know, it's not easy to see like the change in a day is not very obvious, you know. But change in a year maybe a little bit more obvious. And the change in a five year old definitely obvious, right? It's all you know, if you haven't seen Geshe for five years. And you say you see him after five years, and say, "Oh, you're grown old so much." <laughs> so can say that, right? You're grown. Now when I go to India, the monks say, "Oh, you're getting grown old. You're not getting old." Even if usually we stay together, we don't see much, you know. You know, because husband and wife they will stay all their life. They don't see much each other. They are getting, you know, how is that old or old, old? Right? We don't see much. But kids also getting very really easy to grow up. We don't see. And so for it to be the substantial cause of that, it has to have the same type, right? The same similar kind. You know, so the mind and body are not similar kind, it's one is mental, one is physical. And so they, they cannot be the substantial cause of the mind, but both the body cannot be the substantial cause. So the substantial cause of the mind has to be the mind itself. Uh, so for example, like the seed, the apple seed will be the substantial cause of the apple, right? You know, so you know, it has to be of the same type. You know? The chili seed, Cannot become, you know, cannot turn into an apple. You, know, you you grow you grow a chili seed, and then you know you when you plant chili seed, only chili will grow, and an apple will not grow from there because, you know, the chili cannot be chili seed cannot be the substantial cause of the apple. So if it is, if it can be, then you should be able to grow into apple when you sow a chili seed, and when it grows, it should grow into apple. That's not possible to happen right? because, you know, uh, the chili seed is not the substantial cause of the apple. So that's how the things are, you know, so for it to be the substantial cause of that, it has to be of same type. You know, so it's not something that's, you know, that's created by God or Buddha, it is the nature of the things. So the substantial cause of today's mind will be the yesterday's mind, you know, this year's mind will be last, yes, last year's, and you know, these lives will be last one. You know, so and then when you go back that way, you, know, you, can, you can keep on going back and back and back and all it, you know, and, but you will never find to the, you will never get to the beginning. You know, so that's why it says beginningless. 
근데 따로 가서 본부를 다 알아야 했어. 본부가 계산을 본부들이 데리고 본부, 데리고 본부들이 가서 본부가 다 전달시 말로 올라왔어. So it's then with our body, you know, because there's a change happening. Our body is still alive, so you know, so it is. It's not. It's not dead. So it's. Uh, um, you know, you don't need to have like a you know, totally different cause for that. You know, so today, today's the cause of today's body will be yesterday's body, and then it go. It can go all the way back, you know, to the you know, to the conception. So if you check the compare yesterday and today. And you will have more wrinkles today. <laughs> well, you can't see that with your bare eyes, but maybe you know if you look at the, with a microscope, you know, then you will see more wrinkles. Okay, two, ten days, and I can say that you are Toma, you are not that two children, Korea, and Yeleda. So, you know, that's how you will you know, prove that there was previous life or you know, that was uh, that, but that, that there is uh, you know, the beginningless of the mind. You know. And so whether you know it's true in that way or not, you know, you have to think and then you know, analyze yourself and investigate also. And so there will be more you know, reasons to to prove that there is a previous life than a reason to prove that there's no previous life. So that's uh, about uh, the the past, the present, you know, the existence of you know, the past and future lives. Okay. And so now we we'll continue from the text, you know, from where we stopped last time. You know. And so in our in our continuum you know, we have this mind and mental factor. And and so the mind is like the, um, <clears throat> like the, like the principle, yeah. um, the honor, yeah. honor, uh, and, uh, and the boss, the honor, and then uh, the mental factor is like uh, the servant, serving the, the man mind. Yeah. And so if there is no servant, you know, uh, <clears throat> then the man mind will not be able to function all the way. Right, same way. If the boss, they are not workers, the boss cannot do anything, right? Cannot do everything. Cannot, cannot do anything, right? Maybe do some part, but can you what they do? So and so there are this uh, the servant mind, servant mind, like a kind of a servant mind, you know, it's called mental factor. There are fifty one mental factors. And so among these you know, 51 mental factors, there are some which are needed, which we have to have and which is there all the time. Uh, but there are some which are there temporarily, uh, but not needed all the time, and that has to be like abandoned. You know what? And some that, have, that has to be got rid of, got rid of, you know, completely. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So last time we talked about the five on mental factors, right? That three you need to Ah, you don't have that chance. Oh, I think there are one chance there. Who would like to give? Maybe we can share. Did we finish all five? Yeah, all the five uh, uh, only present mental factors. And maybe Ed and uh, Ali maybe share it. If if Ed would like, if you want. Are we on the Yumi now? The Yumi now. Yumi now, yes. Okay. Then there may be. Maybe yeah. you both share. Uh, you want text? Text. Uh, if if you want, uh, Ian, can you give? You can come here. Oh, you can come here. Hey, hey, hey. If you like. Not this thing. If you like, you can follow text. If not, you can. Yeah.
So we have already talked about it, uh, discussed about it, but I don't know if you understood everything or not, but we went through that already. Uh, so it's called omnipresent, that means you know, it's there all the time, right? Omnipresent means you know, it's present all the time. So it goes uh, you know, with all the minds all the time, you know, with every mind all the time, therefore it's called omnipresent. And so then so one of the omnipresent mental factors is the, the first one is the feeling. It says if the feeling is absent, then there will be no experience. So if discrimination is absent, then there will be no apprehension of the uncommon sign of the objects. Like you will not be able to say, oh, this is white, this is black, this is tall, this is short, and so forth. And it says if intention, the third one is the intention, if intention is absent, then the mind will not be directed to an object. And it says, if the attention, the fourth one is the attention, if the attention is absent, then the mind will not be uh, focused on particular objects of observation. And it says that if the contact you know, is absent, then there will be no support. You know? So, mm, so you know, the feeling comes from the contact, right? So you have the contact with a certain object, and from that, then comes the feeling. So there will be no basis you know, for feeling if there is no contact. And so these are called uh, five omnipresent mental factors, and these are needed you know, all the time. And so then the, the five object ascertaining mental factors, you know, so these five are also needed. Uh, if they are not, if any of them are missing, uh, we will not be able to uh, function, perform a function in every object. So those fives are aspiration, belief, mindfulness, meditative stabilization, and wisdom. And so these minds, you know, we are using it all the time. Every day we use them all the time. Uh, and then uh, it says regarding the entity of aspiration, the compendium of knowledge says, question, what is aspiration? Response, it is the very wish you know, to be endowed you know, with this or that. And attributes of the of a des, attributes of desire, desired thing. It has the function of acting as support for making effort. So the aspiration is kind of a desire, right? You know, it says that attribute of a desired thing. Uh, <clears throat> and so like you know you, you aspire for something, and so you want to have something like right? you aspire for a tea or kind of cup or table or something. You know? So that's called uh, aspiration. And so if you don't have the aspiration, then you will not have that thought thinking, I must have this. So that so the, the, it's, you know, it has the function of acting as, an, uh, as a support. Uh, or basis, you know, for making effort. So if you don't have the aspiration, then you will not make effort, right? So if you don't have that wish, you know, wanting to have that at this, then you will not make the effort, you know, to uh, achieve this or that, you know. 
So it, it, it goes along, right? First we have that wish now, and I, I want to do this, and then you do it. You know? So without having that wish, thinking I must, I want to do that, or I must do that, and uh, you will not be able to do that, right? And says, just as it has been said above, it is a knower that upon observing some intended thing, seeks it. Uh, so the way in which as, uh, aspirations act uh, as support for effort is follows. So can we engage in something you know, without having the intention to engage in it? Can we? Can we have, can we do something without you know thinking of doing it? Can we? Something could happen. Something could happen to us. Can we do something? Can we do something without thinking I'm going to do that? Is it possible? Yeah. Is it? Like what? Like example. If I roll in my sleep but I don't know I'm doing it. But don't you don't you say oh I must roll my sleep because if I don't it will get wet. No. Something like that, no? I could be in a deep dream, and I'm unaware that I'm rolling around in my sleep, uh -huh. but my body just rolls around from some... some so, unintended sleep. actions. So, we had that, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> So why do you roll your sleeves? Some, there's some reason. Some maybe, maybe there's some things uncomfortable, so I'm rolling. Yeah, yeah. So uncomfortable. Yeah, this is the end. But I'm not always aware that it's happening. So yeah, it's just. Yeah, because you you feel uncomfortable, so that's all. Oh, I must roll it up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, intention. You know, you're not like like strongly thinking that, but there is this thought thinking. Why you do that? You know, because oh, I want to do this because I'm feeling uncomfortable. So I want to do it. Therefore, I do it. You know, so. So you, you do it. Also, if I'm stepping, and then I kill, like this we talked last time, I kill the insect. Yeah. The intention was to step, but the action was killing. Yes, so yes. So there was no intention, but the result was an action that was unintended. Yeah, but you had the intention to walk, right? Walk. Mm -hmm. You had the intention to walk. You didn't have the intention to step on something and kill, but mm -hmm. you have the intention to walk, and you walk, therefore you kill it, you know? Yeah, yeah so that's, uh, so, so, so you don't have to have intention for that particular thing. But there has to be intention for anything, for some kind of intention, you know, to do something. Okay. Now, on a, if you flinch, say a baseball coming at you or something, an object comes at you, mm -hmm. um, and you just quickly react. Yeah, you duck. Uh, you, you duck without consciously thinking or seemingly so. Without having, when I think of aspiration, I think, oh, here comes a baseball, I'm going to dunk. Um, when you don't have time to think, does that, does the aspiration come because of the flinch? That, that constitutes aspiration, that reaction from the fear of getting hit. Mm -hmm. That would be aspiration, even though it's, uh, it's below consciousness. Yeah, I, I mean, there has to be thought, right? I'm going to duck, you know, like, I'm going to duck, you know. And I must duck, and otherwise I'm going to get get you know, hit by the ball. But but if um, you, you don't have time to think. No, 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 no. You, yeah. you don't have to, you don't have time to think in that way, in a very slow motion like that. But oh, I'm going to die very fast. You, know, you right. must think, right? <laughs> so the aspiration. The mother you are The mother, the mother, the son, the other. Oh, then I'm pulling the mother out of the game. I'm going to go to the game. I'm going to go to the game. I'm going yeah, I mean, you, you duck because you think you're going to get hit, you know, so, uh, you, you know, you don't, you don't duck, you know, just because the ball is coming, you know. So you say... You don't, you don't duck because the ball is coming to you, right, because you think you're going to get hit, and you're afraid that you're going to get hit, so that's why you duck. Yeah. Yeah. But I can aspire quicker than I realize. That's right, yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> I have another example. What happens if, like, um, there's a muscle spasm, and my arm moves, and there's absolutely no intention behind that. My arm moves on its own because of the muscle spasm. Mm -hmm. And then in the movement of this, my arm, because of the muscle spasm, my arm lands in an insect and kills it. Yeah. So... No, you, you didn't, you, you didn't, so you, you didn't say you wanted, you know, you're going to kill it, you know. But killing happened. 
Yes, killing habit, yeah. So my, my aggregate of form killed an insect, mm -hmm. but I had no intention at all to kill. It was just... So when we're talking about that uh, action, you know, so action that requires making an effort. Mm -hmm. So this is what he's talking about here. Mm -hmm. So like he says here, uh, it has the function of acting as support for making effort. Mm -hmm. you know, so if it is not an action like, you know, the flanging or you know, ducking, that is an action that it requires making effort. So for that you have to have it. But for this kind of action, you know, you don't really have to make effort, so you don't you don't have to think that oh I'm going to do this, you know. Mm -hmm. It just happens, you know. And so that is I think I don't think you don't you can count that, you know, the, that kind of action to have aspir aspiration. Is it an action? If it if it moves on its own? Like muscle spasm or something happening in the body if it causes this. It's yeah, you can do it. I think, I mean, you know, the, 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 again, depend how you define action, right? Exactly. You know, so, because it's a function, we tell the function, you know, it's the action. Mm -hmm. So this is a function, right? So it's, a, you know, a male function or something, you know, like it's a function, it's kind of some kind of function. And that, you know, you consider as the action. Mm -hmm. And so if that is the yes, then in this case, yes, that would be action. So not all action requires intention? Only. Intention, no. Uh, okay, yeah, we so talked so. about that last time, right? So, yeah. we, you know, I mean, like motivation and action, I mean motivation and intention, and it's not really necessary to have in every action. So mainly that category of actions you're talking about. That's right, yeah, it's the effort, right. Oh, so there's, yeah, so none of those can be without intention. That's right, yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. So if you are making effort to do something, then you must have a thought, you know, thinking that I'm going to do that. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> And so then again also the effort, you know, so effort of course many all kinds of the action that requires the effort. Especially the effort that you have to make in order to have meditative stabilization. You know, the effort that is required to have, you know, that you need, you know, to uh, have a meditative stabilization. And so for that kind of effort you definitely need aspiration. Regarding this, when you attend, when you attend plancy, 
in which your body and mind are filled with joy and bliss, laziness will be overcome. So that would be the kind of uh, the means you know, to overcome laziness, right? It says regarding this when you attain plenty, pliancy, in uh, which your body and mind are filled with joy and bliss, laziness will be overcome. Since no weariness will arise in your application to virtue all day and night, in order to generate you know, the plenty, you must be able to undertake a continuous effort in mental stabilization. So that that you know, the joy of the plenty of uh, plenty in which your body and mind are filled with you know, joy. So to, to in order to achieve that, you, know, you have to uh, <coughs> and have uh, um, you know, the effort you know, in mental stabilization. So the mental stabilization is the uh, is the cause you know, for achieving that kind of. Uh, uh, plenty uh, in which your body and mind are filled with the joy and bliss. Yeah. So in order to achieve that plenty, you know, the suppleness or the plenty you know, of the body and mind, where the body and mind are filled with joy and, and bliss, uh, in order to achieve that kind of plenty, you, know, you have to have uh, meditative stabilization. And in order to achieve the meditative stabilization, you have to make effort. Yeah. And so in order to have that effort, in order to generate that effort, you know, uh, wanting to achieve uh, meditative stabilization, you have to have the aspiration for that uh, meditative stabilization, strong meditative you know, effort, I mean sorry, aspiration for that meditative stabilization. So when you have that aspiration, then you will make the effort. You know? And so first, you know, before you can make the effort, you know, make the effort to achieve meditative stabilization, you have to have aspiration. First you have the aspiration, then you will make the effort, then you will achieve the meditative stabilization, and then through that, then you will achieve the plans in which your body and mind will be filled with joy and bliss. Like it says, and in order to produce that effort, you need a continuous fervent uh, aspiration that seeks meditative stabilization. And as a cause for that aspiration, you must have the stable faith you know, of captivation due to having seen the excellent qualities of meditative stabilization, right? So in order, in order to have that aspiration for meditative stabilization, you have to see the benefits. You, know, you have to see the qualities, you have to see the good qualities, and you have to see the benefits of meditative stabilization. So when you see that benefits, so oh, there's such a great benefit in achieving meditative stabilization, so therefore I must achieve it. So when you have that thought thinking, I must achieve it, then that's the aspiration. And then with that thought, then you make the effort. And so same with the degrees, right? The PhD degree. Uh, so you have to see the benefits of what what you know what benefits are there if I get that, that degree. You know, or what can I Know, use it for how can it benefit me? You know? And so you see, you know, beneficial in many different ways. You know, in, in terms of fame, in terms of you know, the you know, <coughs> uh, the job, and so for all these things, you see the benefit, and it's oh, must I must have that, and that's the aspiration. So when you see the benefit, you will have the aspiration. <laughs> 
So then when you have the aspiration, then you will make the effort you know, to go through all those difficulties of sitting in a line you know, to get the degree. So then for this that's the, 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 the faith you know, of cultivation due to having seen the excellent qualities of you know, such and such major stabilization or the PhD degree like that. And so this is, you know, therefore, for a start, you should meditate again and again on faith that reflects upon the excellent qualities of meditative stabilization. Having witnessed the sequence you know, of these through your practice, you will apprehend this excellent essential point with the clearest uh, certainty. And says as a proof for this point, Tsongkhapa was cited you know, from the above in a passage from the discrimination of the middle and the extremes. The support you know, he experienced it meaning as follows. The support you know, earlier when we were talk, you know, he cited from that text, right? Discrimination of um, uh, middle and extreme. So the support and the and that supported by it. You know, so the support is aspiration, the support of striving. The supported is striving for stri uh, the support is striving for effort. The cause of aspiration you know, is the fit of conviction in excellent qualities, and the result you know, of striving is plenty. Uh, so you understand that, right? That uh, the passage, you know, the meaning of that passage, the support, the support, the cause, the result, right? Uh, and then it says, carefully reflect upon these modes. Uh, <coughs> is an essentially, uh, sorry, especially. Um, important essential point you know, of practice, just as the foremost omniscient Tsongkhapa has said, if you turn your mind inward and carefully contemplate you know, these modes in which the path has been taught by the great uh, uh, twelve blessers you know, to be definite in sequence without having, uh, without leaving them as mere words, then you will gain certainty regard, uh, regarding these modes. Says, however, if you are keen merely on the words and understand the text you know, of the great twelve blazers. What is great twelve blazers? Twelve you know? well, uh, blazers is someone who sort of is the first one to go. To go, yeah. Because someone the first one, uh, the first one to clear the path and then go on it, right? right. So who who are we talking about here? You know, right? Well, in, in this case, it would be like, you know, um, the Nagarjuna and Asanta, you know, mm -hmm. so they are the, like the tle, twelve blazers, you know, of the, the two, um, <coughs> the views, the Madhavika and, uh, and uh, Prasanna, sorry, the Chitta uh, Martin views, you know, so that's what we're talking about, tle, twelve blazers, you know, to be simply some <coughs> external doctrine or a branch, in you know, a branch of Tibet, then you will toss them away uh, <coughs> when it comes to practice. 
So if you just uh, think that it is uh, just something that you know uh, <clears throat> that's uh, that's composed by them and it's just for the debate you know, for among themselves, then that will not benefit us. You know. So there will be no way you know, to gain certainty about these matters. And he says, let alone generating the excellent parts you know, that please the conquerors in your continuum, you will not even have the good fortune of having the object that is to be understood uh, down you know, to your mind. So anyway, then I'm talk, next talking about the divisions you know, of the aspir you know, of the um, mm. um, uh, the aspiration. So this is when the aspiration is divided, there are three types. This the aspiration wishing to meet, the aspiration wishing not to be separated, and uh, the aspiration uh, that seeks. And then first one, uh, the, oh, sorry, the, the, the third one is the aspiration that seeks you know, is of many types. The aspiration seeking wishes, the aspiration seeking views, and so forth. And uh, so the aspiration that seeks, you know, would be like, you know, oh, I must, you know, I, I, I must go and do my practice, and I must go and do circumambulation, I must go and do the prostrations, and that kind of, you know, the aspiration that seeks. And then, uh, and then, uh, so that is the, the, the aspiration uh, seeking wishes, and then the aspiration seeking views, you know, is uh, seeking like the different kind of you know, the views, uh, like the, uh, the middle way views and so forth. So seeking, you know, uh, an aspiration to understand or seek uh, about the differences you know, of the views, like uh, I wonder what is the percentage of other makers' view, I wonder what is the uh, and the Chitta Martin's Okay, you will have that, but this is not easy, just understand you have to more Takaramadochi, Pajadochi, Yami and Kunchi, and then not the Kako Mars. So if you don't have, you know, if you're not kind of accustomed you know, to the, the scriptures like this, then it's not going to be easy to understand. Um, so of course, you know, in order to be really familiar with it, you have to study a lot, you know, refer to many different texts, you know, related texts, and read about them and so forth. And so uh, to really spend a lot of time to really understand about them. But you know, even just coming to a class, you know, uh, <clears throat> once a week and uh, reading it together or just you know hearing it once you know, leaves a strong imprint in our mind. So. Definitely there is a benefit in doing what we are doing now, but you know, there will be a lot more that we can do. So do you find it difficult you know, to be in this class? It is difficult, right? You, don't, you, know, you, don't, you get bored and, and you don't understand quite well what's going on. And you just sit there taking the you know, taking on all the suffering of <laughs> not understanding, being bored, and so forth. So, you know, you're, you're working hard for the Dharma, so that's good. So, 
So by going through that difficulties, then you, you know, create a lot of merit and uh, prove a lot of negativities. Okay, are there any questions? Otherwise, we have to go all the way candy. <laughs> any questions? Uh, Gishra, if, uh, for example, if there is an animal that evolved over time and developed the ability to speak and understand, would Buddhists classify that creature as a human? No. Maybe they, they might have their own language. It's yes, not that our human language, but they have their own language they might be able to speak and understand. Uh -huh. Right? So they, they, they do like, they make strange sounds, right? Mm -hmm. Which we don't understand, but they may be understanding Quite, each other. I mean, if it involved the ability to speak to humans uh -huh. and understand humans. Uh -huh. Like the parrots can speak. Can teach. Human, well, they, human, they, human they language. They understand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they like, they can understand and converse with humans. And that to know about communication or coding. Ah, communication to me, communication or coding, coding is different. Do you know why not? Communication to me is coding, and that coding, and that chit to coding, and that chit to coding. Well, that you know why not? Do you know why not? Then me, 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 share with us. You know why not? You know why not? Then me share with you. You know why not? Because me share. As the case of the Mitchell, the Mitchell Bimara, the Bimara, the Bimara, the Bimara, the Bimara, the Bimara, the You will not be human beings too. You are not the Bimara, the Bimara, the Bimara, the Bimara. So if it's an animal, then it cannot be a human being. Or you have to see it's a human being. Not, not. But then if it's a human being, it cannot be an animal. Right? So if it's an animal, then it cannot be a human being. Even if they can speak and understand, they cannot be human beings. So the definition of human being is more than just the category. Just being able to understand or speak, yeah. More than just being able to understand or speak. Okay. So you, you have to fall into the category of human being. In addition so, to so, that? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So you know, it's, it's not in the, it doesn't fall in the category of human being. Okay. Even if you are able to speak or understand, mm -hmm. you're not a human being. So they have like the form of the human kind of... Yeah, to... form of the human okay. beings, yeah, yeah. That's right. Thank you. But this is, I don't know. Exactly. We all come up with monogamous. When they say, no, you know, rebuttal, you know, 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 you so it's just some idea we're talking about, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not something real, right? But maybe it's why we're not 2002 was almost finished. Yesterday we all almost China did the chance. Mm -hmm. The hurricane, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the hurricane almost the flood. Oh this. But this is not not a not an uncommon thing, right? Down in the south it always happens. Mm -hmm. Right? So only up here is, is very rare to happen, but other places like down in, like um, near the coast of the South Seas, and it always happened there, right? You know that today, the sort of sort of the economy was more difficult, right? So you know, you know that happened and it caused a lot of disasters. So we should always pray for those beings you know, who has been the, the victim of those disasters. Okay, thank you. So, do not have to share. Then we go to Hollywood Kingdom.